Looks like they are all lined up. Three lights, four lights, five lights. And away Hello. we go. There you go. <laughs> Fredster with an absolutely terrible start. Leopard with a brilliant start. He's already side by side with Dralix. Like I said, get the move done as it looks like. T who's that? I think that's Killer Snipes and Nuthead who have brilliant starts as Leopard gets the move done into turn one and is currently takes the lead of this race ahead of Drally. Snipes is up three positions to P3. He's going side by side with Nuthead. Round turn four here. It looks like Drally is going to make the move on Leopard. Leopard runs wide. It looks like, yeah, it looks like Drally has got the lead back. Brilliant from the Canadian driver. It looks like Killer Snipes is making the move on Leopard as well. Some really great action at the top of the field here. Yeah, Killer Snipes has got the move done and now Nuthead's all over the back of Leopard as well. Don't know if Leopard's got a bit of damage here. He seems to be going very slowly. Ooh. Nuthead just hit the back of Leopard there. Didn't see any damage fly off. It's down the inside from Spreadster. On. And as Killer Snipes loses the back end, that's going to get the position back for Leopard. We'll keep on board with the German. I think Leopard is through. Yes, he is. Leopard back up into P2. Killer Snipes up three, Fredster down one. He managed to get himself back past Xbox Nuthead. So a mixed bag there of starts for people. Jolly's managed to get help two on those mediums. As the two Ferraris at the back go side by side. Melody, though, biggest loser, down by five off the start. Possibly Paul will get away from him. He obviously did get DSQ'd from qualifying. But Dralex with over a second lead already. From Leopard. Yep, absolutely. That was absolutely crucial. He's already managed to pull out off the DRS. Can he keep that remain, or will Leopard manage to uh, catch it up? But obviously, we've kind of some real good action, some real good uh, battling there, right off the line on that first lap. It looks like Fredster is all over the back of Killer Snipes here as they go into turn five. Fredster goes to the move down the inside, squeezes Killer Snipes wide. As Killer Snipes, yeah, Killer Snipes still holds the position, so he still holds P3 and that podium. Yeah, do you hold that off the circuit, though? I know it's basically nitpicking, but he did run wide. Technically, yes. He did. But maybe he got a warning for it, so maybe that's enough punishment. I would have thought he got a warning for running off track. He did take the position back from going off track, so it'll be interesting to see whether what comes of that from the stewards after the race. But for now, Killer Snipes has got the move done and he's hunting down Leopard now. Who is. Ooh, Leopard was within a second of Dralis, but now he's just fallen out of the DRS again. It looks like Leopard might have had a little mistake somewhere. Because Snipes has got closer. Looks like Leopard. Um, Fredster is starting to make a little bit of a train behind him here. But look how close everyone else is behind. It's really tight um, from uh, Fredster down as Nuthead gets a, is the first person to receive a penalty and as you can see the cone went flying there that was that was to be expected realistically now here comes Nuthead not quite close enough to get. I believe DRS actually means that these guys I believe uh, when DRS detection zone is these guys got DRS immediately as we've caught two, Jolly on the outside of Mulder going down into turn five. Backs out of it though. Thinks better against it, not wide. No point, still very early in the race. There's no point ruining each other's races by uh, trying to pull off a move too early as Apex is the second person to get a penalty. It's not take a long, we did say this is a bit of a penalty heaven track. <clears throat> and two people have already got three second time penalties. Just to note, Leopard has, has dropped the gap to under a second. Maybe that's due to DRS, possibly. But it looks like the two Williams drivers are starting to stretch away from Killer Snipes here, who's in P3, who is also stretching away from Fredstone P4. Now, 
Now, I'm not sure that either no heads running really high wings, or Darius isn't as effective, effective as we presumed, because he didn't gain anything. <coughs> really on, um, on Fredster in front, no head there, but we'll see when it comes to the straight left and fast lap of the race. Gap down to six tenths of a second. He'll possibly be looking for a move in us soon. That left sector, though, I'll be honest with you. It does not lend itself very well to, to this circuit. Because obviously it's such a long straight, but with how bad these cars are at following, they, are, they do really struggle to get onto the DRS, which... It's just... Some of these drivers should easily be passed by now. Gap now between Dr Dralex and Leopard, under three tenths of a second. We'll see yep. if Leopard's able to follow. Yep. Really tight between these two. Obviously, we know in seasons past, these two have had their their brilliant battles. We go back to Brazil season five, or maybe season four, and the brilliant battle they had all race long. But Leopard looks like he's just dropped a little bit. <coughs> look like you said. Look like Ben has said. It looks like it's quite hard to follow the car closely here. Jolly is all over the back of Mulder here. But they've all got DRS. Will the Alpha driver be able to get past, or will he just be stuck behind? It looks like he will be. He is obviously on those median tyres. The yeah, only one out of the 12. So he's going to be going longer. So watch out for Jolly towards the end of this race. We'll see what tyres he goes on. Because if, if he can stretch out these mediums and north. He might be able to go onto the softs at the end. However, might be the hards for him, I think. Really yeah. depends on how well he is the tyre management. I don't think degradation Leopard. is too big around this track. As Leopard fades for the move, but obviously miles too far back there. Never was going to go. But Dralix likes to run wide. I think Dralix has run wide again. He likes taking that wider line around uh, turn four here. Whereas Leopard likes to stick it a bit tighter as Dralix actually goes defensive there into turn 5. As Leopard is now within 3 tenths <coughs> of the Canadian. This is realistically where Leopard needs to be going onto the straight. Going onto the main straight or the straight coming out of turn... I believe it's turn 10. Yeah, he has to About definitely be, has to be less than half a, half a second. Um, tends to be behind him to get anywhere near him. If not, there's no chance this is going to be too far by. So it's going to be interesting. He's four tenths back now. Looks like he's gaining. His drive is going to go defensive. I think he is. To come down to the end of the sector. But no, Leopard's still too far back. For a second there, I thought we was getting a um, Bottas Hamilton moment for a second. Because the way it came out, it looked like Dralix was the one on the right. But, nope. No controversy yet. Uh, so just to note further down the field, the Ferrari drivers have swapped places with Apex taking the position from his teammate and going up to P11. As Molde is right behind Sims here. Uh, Sims here. Can he get the move? He's going to be really close going down into the turn one here. And also Nuthead is right behind Fredster as well. Got to look for them. Got to think there's going to be a move here into turn one. Fredster goes ultra defensive. Nuthead's got the outside line oh they've touched and Nuthead is yeah. not going to give the position back doesn't look like it looks like Fred's is going to well, make the move back on him no he's too far back Nuthead so Nuthead gets the position but he's compromised for the next turn and looks like Fred's is going to come back at him here to go side by side this is a lovely race and this is lads look at look at everyone behind it's a really loud and look, Sims getting in on the action as well. He's going to try and go on the inside of Nuthead as well. This is absolutely brilliant action. Oh, look at that camera shot. Look, there's six cars in one shot there. Absolutely. Now seven. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, get a flag just behind. As the Ferrari that is an apex that we can't say the name of has crashed out. And it's three gone. wide. We are nearly. Yeah, we are three wide. Sims, Jolly, and Mulder. Mulder seems to have got ahead of these guys. I think Jolly's going to force Sims up as well. Jolly, both Jolly and Mulder move up places. 
Melly he's still at the back of this group. The spa shot just behind them. Mulder picks up the third penalty of the race. Cutting back to the two Williams as quickly. I know we have to leave this. There's only there's three tenths between Leopard and Dralex. As they head down into turn one. Well, turn two. Dralex defends the inside. Leopard will have to go round the outside. Smart there from Dralex. Does go a bit wide. That's possibly a warning picked up. And here comes Leopard. Will he go for the lunge into turn five? I've seen it done. Now I've also seen Bottas and Raikkonen's accident. Leopard doesn't want any of that. Looking a bit further back. No real changes. Still Fredster in front of Nuthead, in front of Mulder, in front of Jolly, in front of Melody, in front of Spark Shot. Red has his own little train spawned at the moment. You literally have P4 to P10 in one camera shot here. So the, the, the midfield battle, we've kind of got Leopard and Dralix having their own little battle. We've got Killer Snipes all by himself. Poor him. I'm sure he won't mind though if he comes home and gets the podium. And then we've got Fredster all the way down to Spa Shot in one shot. It's a brilliant race. It looks like Mulder's run a bit wide there. Can Jolly get a run on him? Down to the end of this sector. I don't think he's going to be close enough here. We kind of need these guys to battle because obviously the DRS is really cancelling all all those chances of uh, overtakes out really. Yeah, it's the good old DRS train. Prom prominent at circuits with the straight as Sims half spins. That's going to drop him out of this battle. In fact, he's coming into the pits. His tyres, I think, are fried. Those rears wise are not looking in nice condition. Yeah, wise move there Leopard. for the Red Bull driver. Only two and a half turns behind Dralex. Again, gets close, but not quite close enough. I honestly Still think like his best bet might be in turn four. Yeah, with Dralix taking that wide line, as Leopard gets really close behind him, but no, nope, still saves him. But obviously, Leopard won't be too keen to overtake because obviously, if we look at their ERS, Leopard has 90%, Dralix has 48%. Dralix is having to use it to stay ahead. Leopard is just comfortably sat behind and going, la la la, I'll save my DRS, uh, ERS all day long. Well, would we'll you say then at this space and time Leopard is definitely the faster driver I would say so yes judging on that he's just saving his ERS probably saving his fuel as well which is what well, right within his rights so it looks like Mulder had a little bit of a moment there going on to the back straight can Jolly get close to make a move it doesn't look like he's going to be close enough again as DRS is cancelling everything out here any chance of action we are having is being cancelled out by DRS. It's brilliant these drivers are so close to each other, but they're just not getting close enough. Ooh, as Jolly is really close there. Not getting close enough down the straights to actually make an overtake as Fredster, Nuthead and Melanie all cut into the pits. Possibly to cover off Sims as undercut there wasn't being undercut as the off span. Mulder's made a mistake and now Jolly's going to have the run here, I think. Pulls out with the DRS. Mulder leaves the room. Jolly with all the speed in the world. Down into turn two. Makes the overtake sit. And Jolly moves up into P4. As Leopard has got past Dralex. No, he hasn't. Not quite. Dralex is back in front. We missed that because of the battle between Mulder and Jolly. Down into turn six they go. And Dralex is still in front. Guess not the greatest of exits. Look at Killer Snipes charging on these guys. But still, it's Dralex in front of Leopard. Leopard's first real chance has been squandered. But my question to you now is who picks first? Yeah, well, you've got to think that Dralex is in front. So maybe Leopard is conscious of that. Oh, oh! Leopard has a massive moment there. Massive <laughs> hit of oversteer there. Massive kick of oversteer. Nice little uh, move from Leopard there. Oh, and then he's lagged back into Killer Snipes as well. To Leopard, not only did Leopard have a moment, he's also had like a screen freeze there, it looks like, and he's dropped back into the clutches of Killer Snipes. He's now three tenths behind the Williams driver. Leopard will be infuriated by that. Will he come into the pits? No, he yes, he does. Leopard pits, Killer Snipes stays out. So does Dralex. So... 
Leopard now having to go for the undercut because well, I suppose this was when he was going to pit, I don't know. But we'll find out where it comes out and if it comes out in any traffic, I doubt it because any person will probably come out around Baby's Apex, but Apex just running his own little race at the back. Yeah, he should come out well ahead of uh, Fredster and Co. who have all pitted onto the medium tyre, so it looks like we were totally incorrect and it's going to be a soft to medium race quite easily here which means jo definitely watch out for Jolly later in this race if he's going to be on the softer tyre he's going to be absolutely rapid so Leopard's actually come out quite close to Fredster here closer than I expected anyway, gaps two and a half seconds if Zekilla starts to know, it's only half a second behind but if he hasn't but if Fredster's got some real strong pace on these mediums, we'll see where we'll see where Snipes comes out between around when it comes to Fredster. Yeah, There's, definitely. Obviously, no. I don't know whether Leopard had a wing change that we didn't see there in the pits. I don't know whether it's slow because obviously he's a lot. He was miles ahead of Fredster. He was nearly four seconds, five seconds ahead of him. So it's going to be interesting. Like that, yeah. But what the good thing for Leopard is actually come out in clean air. He's obviously eight seconds behind Apex and now three seconds ahead of Fred. So he could get his head down and really push here to obviously try and undercut Dralix, who is going to come into the pits now, quickly followed by P2. So P1 and P2 are in. Jolly is going to inherit the lead of this race on the medium tyres. So let's see what the Alpha Drive can do. And then we've still got Sparshot, who decides to stay out. And then obviously Apex as well. It looks like Apex is the Ferrari is going to come in. Yes, he is going to come in as well. And as Leopard comes, starts to come round to, onto the penultimate, on the round the penultimate corner. Let's see where he is in comparison to these top guys. As Dralix and looks like Leopard's going to. I think Leopard's going to get it done here. Down ball with this. Possibly this is going to be so. tight. Oh, this is going to be mighty tight. And look, Dralix has still got the lead, but Leopard's coming up right behind him on warmer tyres. Is going to have to go defensive a lot more defensive than he wanted there, yeah. And that showed him easily get the move done. Obviously, Dralix, yeah, I think I was cold tires, yeah. Dralix with you. Didn't really yeah. want to, didn't actually want to have to defend that hard coming out of the pits, but he had no choice with Leopard on those uh, on those warm tires. But obviously, Dralix is now just has to keep his head down, keep composed, and get right behind him. But for, Obviously, look at that. Fred's been a big winner here. He's really caught up to these guys off the, with that uh, two-lap undercut. So the Renault driver's definitely uh, one to watch out for. Definitely so. Gap only, he's now within a second of uh, Snipes. Now, if these guys, Dralix and Leopard, start going at it again, we saw how much Snipes gained. We ended up with a proper four-car battle for the lead here. Dralix to the inside. Down into turn... Something on a 12 13 ish. Still side by side, room left by the pair of them. On board with Leopard. Dralix is back ahead of Leopard. Oops. Yeah, Dralix got the just saying up. about this turning into. <laughs> I was just joking about this turning into a four car battle. Well. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> that little battle there. He took that one little battle and. Knights and friends have joined them, and you just look in the background as well. You've got you've got Nuthead, you've got Mel, and you've got Sims and Mulder. Although Mulder, I do believe, has nine seconds of penalty. Dralex so. is coming back down the inside into one. Dralex is back in front again. And look at Killer Snipes, going to go for the long way around. This isn't NASCAR, mate. You're not going to get the advantage going for the high line. Leopard, uh, Leopard. Dralex comes to the inside. I think I screwed that up massively. I said. Dralix was taking Leopard. Oh, yeah. Leopard <laughs> yeah. It's alright, yeah, yeah. So, ooh, Dralix nearly has an issue there. Let's just look at this battle for the, for the penalty. lead. Look Someone's at this battle for P2. On. Well, basically for the lead, it's Jolly is 20 seconds ahead of these guys, but that's actually really... Jolly must be thinking, please continue to battle, boys, as this is going to really help him out in his quest to, when he gets on those softer tyres in about five Definitely laps so. time. Looks like Fred's going to have the move, be able to make a move on Snipes. It is right behind him. Also, Dralix as well on Leopard. Dralix goes to the inside. Nice and simple move from the Canadian driver. Brilliant on the brakes. But just behind him. It's going to keep doesn't... happening, isn't it? 
Oh, the Snipes has gone and run a bit wide there. That's Rob Fresner and his friends is going to take the inside. He really squeezes Snipes out there as it goes side by side here. And Fresner gets the move done. Well, we did say there was going to be plenty of action. And these boys have not, dis these 12 boys have not disappointed us at all as we reach pretty much half race distance here. We have, I'd say, let me just look at the gaps. We have a literally down from P2 to P9. We have four seconds. And that all, oh, Bredster, having to go over the chicane there. Will he let let? Will he let um, Snipes go back ahead? No. But uh, I think. Well, you know, what I said earlier, obviously about um, Snipes keeping the position off the circuit. Well, I think Fred just got his own little back there. He did yeah. go over the chicane. He did keep his position from it. So. Well, like I said, there's literally four seconds splitting P2 to P9. So these boys are all really, really close. And as you probably, you might, we might see it on the straight, they'll all be in the same thing. And uh, they are slowly, Jolly's slowly starting to catch Jolly's. Probably caught a second up in the last couple of laps. As Lep has dropped back a little bit. It looks like Melanie's the closest person here as he comes, tries to make the move on Nuthead. But no, thinks better of it just stays behind for now looking at it if Nuthead can get within a second of Killer Snipes that's literally second through to ninth all within DRS of each other that yep. is insane I yeah, really expect on lap 3 yes not on lap 14 absolutely brilliant from these boys obviously a bit of battling between the two Williams drivers has allowed this to take place as Mulder gets another penalty Expect to him to drop outside of the points um, come the end of this race. It doesn't look like Lepper's going to be close enough this time, no. So obviously we've got this big battle raging for P2 down to P9, and then we've got Jolly out front, and then we've just got Sparshot and Apex in 10th and 11th just running by themselves. As Fredster picks up a penalty, I... I'm actually going to have a look I... at the penalty situation now for us. While you do that, um, so I to mention here, I don't think Jolly's going to slot out in a very nice place. I think he's going to slot out in front of Sparshot. And if that's the case, that's literally all his advantage gone. Because yeah, it's good. It, if he's behind Sparsh, if he's behind uh, Mulder, he's got Mulder, Sim, Melanie, Nuthead, etc. All to overstate before he even gets up to the back podium battle. Granted, by that point, drivers may have some more penalties, and he might he might still get podium on penalties. But I don't think the best he's going to get on the road this race for P5. Yeah, just to note, well, funny you talk of penalties, Leopard and Dralix both just have one warning each. Jolly has two warnings. Everybody else has a penalty. Nuthead has two. Snipes has one. Fredster has one. Uh, has two. Sims has two. Mulder has four. Melanie has one. So. Jolly, if he can manage to keep it clean, he could actually uh, end up getting a podium through penalties. But it looks like Dralix is currently controlling this race. Just, as Leopard is starting to use a bit more of his ERS, he's still got more than Dralix. But look at Dralix, he loves taking that really wide line. The NASCAR line, as uh, Ben uh, called it earlier. He loves taking that line around turn four there. It's not gaining Sorry, him any time, three. though. He's lo Don't fall. He's he is he is losing time. He's losing a good one and a half tenths. Which if Leopard's like two tenths behind, he's gonna lose the position at that point. So he's really gonna have to start being a bit more cautious with his lines here, I think. Well yeah, see Leopard sure. only four tenths behind now. This could be Leopard's opportunity to get this lead back, I think. Turn his ERX up to Max. He's not following Dralix for the slipstream. He is now, though. Dralix defends the inside line. Leopard turns it down. He's not going to go for anything yet. But he's waiting in the wings, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think you have to be within three tens, really, round here to get anywhere near a chance passing. Johnny's in. Leopard's... There we go. Our leader pits as the, fire... as the 
as uh, the leaders come round the penultimate corner. Yeah, Jolly definitely he's probably going to feed out around. Maybe he might even be behind Mulder here. We'll have to wait so and see. There goes Tim Williams as Fredsters snipes. There goes Nuthead as well. This is going to be disastrous for him. He's still yet to appear. There he is. Just saw him in the background. And yeah, he is. He's all the way up down in P9. As... Oh, sorry. I thought that was... I thought Leopard was going for it then. Again, stays behind his teammate. Maybe he's just waiting in the wings. Trying to do what more so did to him, perhaps. At W.O. Warbarine. Yeah. I've got a strong number. Just binding his time. Obviously, like you said, Jolly's not really come out in the best place. He's got to try and get past... Well, he's definitely going to pass Mulder. As he's already passed Mulder. He would have passed him on penalties. But look, you can just see the difference in tyres here. How much more pace Jolly's got, even though he's only just come out of the pits. Look how much more grip he's got. As he's right behind Sims here. He's literally pushing Sims. I think he actually might have touched oh. Sims there. Yeah. A little bit rude, but sometimes you have to be in this motorsport. There's Melanie here. I think she's going to have a go at Nuthead. Melanie to the inside. And Melanie is through. Is he? No. Yes, possibly. No, he isn't. And look at this. Nuthead trying to defend for Melanie. Here comes Jolly. Jolly has to back out. Melanie's still on the outside. This is ridiculously close. And Melanie, though, still ahead of Jolly. But still behind Nuthead. This is going to be ridiculous on the straight. Ignore it itself. Yeah, look how, look, you can just see the difference in Jolly, how much more pace and grip he's got with those tyres. Not taking the Alpha driver long to make his way through the field. He's now to P6 after coming out in P9. And I don't think his teammate will hold him up either. But look, oh, that's an audacious move from Mulder. Not quite sure what's going to the Dutchman today. He's already got four penalties, four or five penalties. And he's, that was an audacious dive on the... Melody there. Right. Let's see if Jolly can catch up to Fred Stern's Knights for the battle for P3. As Jello fights in sector it's one, that's Mulder. I don't know who, who's that. Is that Apex? Uh, yes, because he was the only one going through sector one. No, a spa shot. Uh, okay. Uh, he's got. Uh, yeah, he hasn't. He's not quite missing a wing, but I'm fairly sure he's got red on the right by looks things. He's got absolutely no end fence at all. Uh, yeah, so he's he's to the two Williamses. Obviously, we have Jolly catching like a madman. Mike, calm down. We have Dralix and Leopard here separated by just half a second. I mean. The longer Leopard buys his time, the worse his tyres will be. But then again, is he biding his time with that fastest lap? Oh, well, sadly for him, he gets uh, rudely taken away immediately as he is right behind Dralix here. He, he's like going for it, in right. fact. As far shot gets five seconds pit lane. Oh, they're going to go side by side here. Dralix again takes the NASCAR line. He's going to have to go defensive here into turn four. Looks like Leopard's going to get the move done. Squeeze his mind a little bit, but yes, he is through. And Leopard takes the lead of this race. But I don't think that is the last we've seen of the Williams drivers overtaking each other. As Jolly finally not. picks Jolly picks up his first penalty, he'll have a look. It look, did look like Leopard got cut on that. Yeah, Leopard's got two warnings now. Let me just check on Dralic. Dralic still has one, so Leopard is on the cusp of a penalty. I'll be honest, I was just running a ball with Dralic's then. I'm not sure if that was dirty, yeah, but that Williams looks very hard to control at the moment. I think his tyres might be possibly not in the best of state. I mean, they don't, they don't look bad, but they don't look as good as Leopard's. So... Yeah, obviously... Maybe he's... Been able to uh, just stay behind Andralix, obviously, to conserve his tyres, conserve his fuel, and his ERS as well. But, yeah. But, like I said, Leopard is close to a penalty here. One wrong move. As he locks up his. What I will say about Leopard, I've seen him lock up a lot more than I usually do. 
don't Jolly's think he is feeling. Don't think Surely. he wants to the pressure. Yep. The second. yep. Here we go. Presta goes to the outside. Jolly goes to the inside, and that is simple as you like from the Alpha Tropper. Look how much you can just see. Oh, as he locks Ooh. up. That's our Fredster back round. Outbroke himself into turn on there. But it looks like he's got the move back easily. There we go, the Alpha Tropper. You can just see how this strategy is benefiting his as Sims picks up a penalty. Oh, Fred oh, sticks Oh, dear. His Fred. I don't think that was Fred's uh, move to make, really. He was nowhere near. He was only his front. His killer snipe picks up another penalty. Looks like Jalix is starting to drop back a little bit from Leopard here. Is Leopard putting yeah, his foot down yet? Yeah. yeah, Leopard's but... starting to use his ERS. He's down to 35%. So, yeah, Jalix has just got to hope he can stay within DRS. Just a Sorry. note on that Jolly and Fredster accident from what I saw of it. Uh, Fredster definitely, in my opinion, went for a move that wasn't me, frankly. I, I would, yeah, I'd have to agree um, with you. Bit audacious move from the uh, Renault driver. And obviously he's come off worse, so he probably knows that he's come off worse, but he's now come off in a lovely five-car train. So nuthead down to Sims. Lovely little battle going on here. Obviously we'll have to keep an eye on what's going on with Looks like I feel like Jolly's easily going to catch Killer Knights in the next seven laps, so expect the Alpha Drop to be on the podium. Now I'm not the greatest at maths, but this is pretty simple for once. Uh, Dralet, as it stands, uh, obviously Leopard is going to be champion as it stands, and Williams also going to take on the constructors. But in the battle for second, Dralex is going to jump to second in the championship. Uh, and both of both Jolly and Dralex are going to overturn Amazed, and uh, Nuthead is going to jump up to seventh as things as things stand. Okay, so we're going to jump into P2. I'm not sure how to draw. If Jolly stays as is, he will get eight uh, eighteen points. Let's have a quick look myself. Dralex will go on to one six eight. And Jolly will go on to one six three. So it's still really, yeah, it's still going to be really tight between them two for Pete in the championship. <coughs> As Sims but is right. If Jolly behind. gets past Snipes, which he is, he is right on the back of Snipes as well. It will throw one six six to one six eight. So Sweet. two points will separate Jolly and Jalex. And yeah. With, of course, Jolly. On those tyres, it's still a very much fresh and still he's easily the fastest guy on circuit at the moment. As he pulls out now on Killer Snipes for P3. Gets the move done fairly simply. I don't think he even needed DRS really, to be honest. Get a flag in the last sector. Fred's out. Don't know what quite happened there. Didn't catch that. Look, I don't know whether that was out of anger or what, but there's a yellow flag in sector one. Not quite sure. Uh, not... Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Him. He just did the retire from session. Possible lost back. Kenna hit the wall. Got damaged. Didn't want to do the entire lap and just retired. At least that's what I think happened anyway. His car did seem to have a bit of damage on it, so. I think I he might. Him. That might be a quality ban for the next race to him. I'm not quite sure. Um, rules, but I think if you, if you deliberately retire on track, that's an automatic quality ban. I will, uh... Jalex is back. Sure. Yep, if he's in DRS, four turns behind. Um, I'm sure the stewards will, uh, take a look at that after the, uh, after the race. Jolly, only 3.6 behind as Melody. And Nuthead go at it again. Melody, I think, finally has cleared Nuthead. And got himself back into P5. He started P... I believe P4 at the beginning of the race as he did. So that's good for Melody to get back up there. Gap between Jolly and Jalex down to 2.6 seconds. As both Nuthead and Mulder. Mulder picks up his sixth penalty, I believe, of the race. So Mulder really in dire straits when it comes to penalties. Yeah, just to note on the football front, 
Liverpool are now 3 0 up. I think that's game over. Not quite sure who scored over. it. I think it is Mane. It's the 50th minute, so. Looks like Liverpool going nine points clear at the top. But can Jolly catch up to these Williams boys? They're really tight. If they start battling as well, we know we've seen it before when uh, they start battling. Snipes what got in on the action. So uh, the only caveat to that is that Jolly does have a penalty and Dralix and Leopard do not. So. I think it's more for pride. For Jolly, if he does get for the Leopard and Dralix, that he's got, it's too much for him to pull, pull away. But if this is if, it, if they're battling again as they are now, this is going to help Jolly out immensely. I think Dralix is through. Yes, he is. Dralix is through and up back into the lead of this race. They've swapped it, swapped positions all race so far. And well, here we go again. And would you look at that? That little tiny battle has allowed Jolly uh, Jolly to catch up immensely. Just to note, One point Jolly's... Three seconds. Yeah. Um, what we'll say is that Jolly is on up seven positions in this race, so absolutely brilliant from the Alpha Driver. The alternate strategy has definitely come in clutch for Here him. Leopard as again. Leopard again on. Dralic squeezes him. And Leopard easily gets past. <coughs> Leopard was having none of that. <laughs> Absolutely none of that. Yeah, he definitely he did not like... turn one. But he did not like being behind uh, Long. But like I said, he's using a lot, hell a lot more ERS than Dralix is. And look at how close Jolly is now. He's within a second of Leopard. These boys best be worried. Obviously, Jolly's got a penalty, but he could very easily canter off into the distance here if he find him. This is going to make these last four laps or so really, really tasty. If Jolly's tyres uh, jo don't go first, I'm looking at those tyres and they don't look the freshest. Obviously, he's been on them seven laps now, but as here, co here comes Jolly's back down the inside. Pushes Leopard up. One of these guys has got to get the advantage to pull away soon. Jolly stays ahead of Leopard. Jolly's gonna take the he's gonna take the other line. But still oh. Sorry in the background, oh. just behind them, Snipes went a little bit wide. He's dropped a little bit further back, but look at this. One P1, two and three, all within half a second. All the snaking. The snaking, this <coughs> is the DRS train you know is at its worst. Here comes Leopard to the outside. Leopard coming back with a lead, breaks later. And <laughs> Leopard. Retakes the lead from his teammate. Jolly is come. Jolly is now here. What can Jolly do against Dralex? If he picks off Dralex, Leopard won't be too far behind. Dralex goes defensive. Jolly did not want to send it in there. Who is it this year who got sent flying? I can't remember. On not the first sure. Lab, they have if I was Dralex, oh. I wouldn't. As Mulder picks up yet, I think his seventh penalty. He must be close to disqualification. For the number of penalties, I'm sure. <coughs> yeah, if I was Dralis, I'd actually let Jolly pass because he could really take the fight to Leopard here and maybe cause a mistake out of Leopard. You don't know. It looks like the Canadian's struggling, even though he is on fresher tyres. But look at this. Look how close they are. <coughs> Six tenths between these three drivers after 24 laps of racing. That is absolutely unbelievable. It's a rare sight in this sport. It was a uh, grow job, the person I was looking for. Oh, okay. Uh, him, Jim, and Atsi, and Perez came together. I, don't, I think that all the advantage of Jolly's soft tyres have now gone. Yeah, he's. I don't think he's got. I don't think he's got enough in them now to get past them both and get three seconds ahead. But let's it's see, Leopard is already now. weaving. Dralix is right behind him. He's going to go. Leopard, Dralix goes to the outside. But Leopard holds the position. But look at that. Ooh, Ooh. Ultra defensive from Leopard Ooh. there. He weaves in front of Dralix. Bit of dirty moves there from Leopard. 
but it manages to hold the position. This is brilliant battling for these. Look at this, too wide here. That was very late on the brakes there. And here's Jolly. All three of them moving everywhere, really. Unbelievable racing from unbelievable racing from these boys. And we did say at the start of this race. If he gets out of line, he's screwed. Yeah, we did say at the start of this race, LCR never disappoints for action. And um, you boys, you guys have been thoroughly entertained here from lap 1 to lap 25. And now look at this battle for P, P1. Five tenths between these three drivers after 25 laps of racing. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is. With two and a bit to go, it is really hotting up now. Pretty much, it's Leopard or Dralex to win. Jolly's got the penalty, so he's kind of just there to be... A, to be honest, for Leopard and Dralex, Jolly's just there to be annoying. Yeah. That's the easiest way of putting it. Because he's got, even if he gets past the both of them, he's got a penalty. But if Jolly gets past Dralex... I think Jolly will become Leopard's new best friend. Yep. Just to know both. Which he might do here. Both. Oh, what he a has. move! What a Jolly's move through. from the Alpha driver. Hangs it round the outside. That was absolutely brilliant. Just to know, Leopard and Dralix both are on two warnings. So either of them make a small mistake. But I did just think that someone made a mistake there. But it was Sims getting a penalty. Let's see if Jolly can catch up to Leopard now. They're only six turns back. We're on the uh, penultimate lap of this race as Mulder has got past Melanie. Oh, look at this in the background. Sorry, we've got Nuthead, Melanie and Mulder all going at it. The P5, but obviously Mulder will drop back down to P8 because he has so many penalties. He could feasibly actually drop behind Apex. But we'll just have to wait and see as Jolly is caught up three tenths. It looks like Jalix is... Dreams of the win are done. But can Jolly get... Oh, it's just Leopard. Oh. Massively. Just imagine. Just imagine if he punted Leopard into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and Leopard didn't actually win the championship. I don't think... Uh... The wall would explode, I think. Yes. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> but... The LCR universe of esports would explode if that happened. And yeah. so would probably Twitter, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, I so think here we go. That mistake, Mold, I don't there you think... Go. Mold has been disqualified! Mold has been disqualified! I have not I... commentated League Race where someone's been disqualified in ages. And I don't... Uh, on another note, I don't think Johnny's got this, you know? Obviously, he's got penalties anyway, but even on circuit... I think those tyres oh, are spent. Dralex! Dralex with the penalty! Yep. That's it. That's race over. over. Leopard to Dralex now knows. Let me just check if... I don't think Jolly's got another penalty. He has not. He, he has just picked up a... He is one warning away from a second penalty, though. And obviously Leopard's still on two warnings. So, as we stand, these three will finish as is. And Jolly will actually... Will he take second place in the championship? I'll just let Ben do the mask as he had done it before. Um, he was already one point in front of Dralek, so he'll pull three points in front. Dralek sends it on Jolly. Stays behind. I don't think it's changing from now. LCR. Uh, sorry, Suzu Leopard. I've already bottled this already. Yeah. He's going to hold on into the final couple of corners. Will Dralex send it on Jolly? He has looked to the inside. He does not. Shizu Leopard 06 heads into the final corner. He is a five-time LCR champion. Jolly comes over Dralex in third. Killer Five finishes fourth. Congratulations to Leopard. Great time from Jolly. Definitely 100% driver today. Making all the strategy work. And Dralex. Well, that confirms as well the Williams are your champions of the, of the teams as well and yes if our quick maths are right Jolly's going to go to 169 and Dralex will go on to 165